Hey everybody, what's up? Nine newbie back again with yet another video, and today I will be unboxing uh, actually a um, a surprisingly great find. You know, I do find some rare things on EMD um, not, not, on uh, eBay from time to time. Uh, a lot of them are for your consideration discs, um, which are while technically rare, <clears throat> apparently they're not super sought off uh, sought after, so they tend not to go for for too much, and they're pretty reasonable purchases. Um, this one, however, is actually legitimately rare, um, and I think uh, at least relatively sought after um, disc here. This here is the Season 1 Blu-ray for Avengers Earth's My Heroes, and I'm actually pretty surprised that I was able to get it at the price I got it. So, um, it's a Blu-ray, complete, uh, complete season, um, and I was able to get it for, I think it was like... $38, which does kind of sound like a lot for just one season of television, even if it is on Blu-ray, um, until you realize that this disc is both rare and out of print, but also generally goes for $125. So, yeah, a little bit of a deal there um, with this. Um, so let's open this up. And see, this is very, very cool. It would be nice to have this. I watched this as a kid, I think as it aired, or around the time when it aired. You can't, I can't remember if I was watching it on Hulu at the time, or, um, you know, actually, like, live when it was airing on TV. I think it was probably Hulu. But, um, yeah, I think this used to be, like, a, like a Disney XD show. And it's fantastic. I think I've heard it, you know, referred to as one of the best Avengers cartoons ever. I'm pretty surprised that um, it went out of print, to be honest. Um, it is uh, so rare, especially when all the other copies of it are, you know, seem to be uh, in circulation at reasonable prices. You know, the, I have the second season disc um, for this in um, in my Amazon cart right now. Exact same format, literally $8. Completely stocked, so it's very interesting. Um, but let's open this up. I know I rambled a lot. I was just very, very excited about this. <laughs> wow. This is actually... I don't even know... I wonder if this is the original... Like, the original print wrap. I, I'm guessing it's not, actually. Um, you know, you do, I don't very often see anything in this sort of wrap. But I do see, actually, that the original shrink wrap is inside. And I don't know how... This is supposed to be opened. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Got a little flap right here. So, yeah, so it looks like it's in the original shrink wrap, I think. But there was an additional additional wrap put on the outside of it. Um, again, this is pretty exciting because this is going to be single-handedly, like, indisputably the most valuable part of my... Um, DVD and Blu-ray uh, collection here, but yeah, this is in shrink wrap, which is <laughs> kind of crazy, uh, you know, that I was able to get this in shrink wrap, but here you go. This is Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes Complete First Seasons, includes 26 episodes, and I guess I didn't notice it at first, but everything here is also written in Spanish, so I'm guessing, you know, maybe this was an international release, not 100% sure, but it's definitely possible. Here, this is what the uh, side looks like right there. And you can take a look at the back. It has all the information and details right there. So this is cool. This is cool. Let's, let's, let's uh, take a look at what is on the inside. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell this is, this is, this is um, brand new. We actually see... Whatever store sold this, you know, we actually see the labeling that they put on the top. So, that's rather nice. Didn't mean to take a little detour there. But, you know, I try to go over as many details of each disc as I unbox it um, or open it up as I can. So, I noticed that I missed a detail, so I wanted to go over it and show it here. There we go. We got all the shrink wrap off. Let me get this off of the top here. Let's see here. 
This is actually rather, uh, rather stuck on here. Oh, hold on. I think I see. Ah, apparently this is not just a sticker that's on the top. You've actually got some stuff on the side there. So I'm going to try and peel that off. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so if I peel it off on the side, it'll be a lot easier to get off. All right. Peeling that off there. There we go. All the shrink wrap is now removed. Let's open this up, and here we go. This is a two-disc collection. You have here um, Iron Man on disc one and the Hulk on disc two. Talked about this before. I find this fairly annoying. Um, when you have literally all the descriptors for each disc. Here, let me take this out. You have every descriptor for, like, <clears throat> each disc behind the discs themselves. So you have to take them out if you actually want to see what's on each disc. And this is actually a pretty bad offender of this. Because not only is, you know, pretty much every all the information about the discs behind the discs, you have to take them out. You still can't even really read them that well. I mean, you can see it for sure. It's, it's, it's like, legible, but <laughs> barely. So, definitely not my favorite um, packaging there on the inside, but, you know, it is great that this is on Blu-ray, um, and it's great that I was actually able to get this. I'm still pretty, pretty surprised I was able to, uh, to nab this, but, um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. That's, you know, the experience that you can expect when you get one of these, um, Blu-rays. This is what this is, uh like it it's pretty cool now if you want to watch it in hd i'm sure that it's still out on itunes but i'm expecting the blu-ray quality to be better because the bit rate is usually higher it's a technicality thing but still it's nice to have this in uh, physical form so anyways that's all i got hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in another one of my videos if you want to watch another one of my videos hey Adam. <laughs>